Hey mate, I'm going to throw a question out there. I'm going to come back to it and do shakes of a lamb's tail. I'm just going to drop it on the table. What do you think the point is of graphics card certification lists? You know, ISV support, you know, those lists for a team of super, well, they obviously know exactly what they're doing. They know the stuff inside out, oracles, all right? They check over graphics cards and drivers against a particular program. They make sure it all works without any problems. And they document all of that onto a list, onto a website, so that buyers like you and me can safely purchase hardware from that list, knowing that it's all been checked against the software by the official parties. And they've said, everything is okay, mate. I ask you, what's the point of all of that? With that in mind, here's the AMD Radeon Pro W6400 and the Radeon Pro W6800, two graphics cards that made it to said Autodesk Inventor certified hardware list. And these two graphics cards are based on AMD's newest RDNA 2 architecture. One's the lowest in the stack, one's the highest in the stack. And if you have one of these, or by all accounts, any AMD GPU, and for quite some time, probably for at least a year, then you've been slowed down in Autodesk Inventor by up to a staggering overall 20% in some cases. With many individual areas of Inventor, like the drawing creation, assembly design and opening files slowed down by up to 40 percent. Now, I'm not entirely exempt from any blame myself in all of this. I promoted the Polaris-based entry-level WX3100 on the channel about four years ago, which also suffers from this issue. That's a four-year-old card. But in my defense, that was a long time ago, and it was before I put aside a year of my life. They then go on to make Invmark, which is the benchmarking program, which then went on to find this issue. And the issue is so glaringly simple and obvious. It's staggering. It wasn't noticed during any of the certification testing. It cripples all workstations and PCs, Intel or AMD-based, and all current generation platforms, Windows 10 or 11, custom PCs, or tier one OEM pre-builds. But here's some of my testing so you can see the issue for yourself. This is an OEM vendor system provided by Fujitsu. It's a Celsius tower workstation on the Intel 11th gen platform. It's got four benchmark. It's got four benchmark. It's got four benchmark scores done using Invmark. Windows 11, i9 11900K, 32 gigs of RAM, all runs done using Inventor 2022, all done on the same day, with the only variable across all four runs in the graphics card. Now, I'd say at this point, you want to guess which scores were done using the two ISV certified AMD cards, but given the title of this video and the intro up until now, I'd say they're about as guilty as a puppy sitting next to a pile of poo. And that would be quite right. The bottom run of 40K is done using the W6400 with the 42K score performed equipped with the three grand W6800. And that takes this i9 workstation down to the levels of an office spec power saving thin and light laptop and pegs back the once legendary 11th gen performance to the lower end of where 9th and 10th gen desktops are scoring, even rubbing shoulders with the now archaic Intel 8th gen platform. Now, if this was you running my test and you got those scores in your own system. I've no doubt at this point, you'd probably have some probing questions. I'm not sure if I'd forgive you for thinking this, but you probably would be, but you might be thinking to yourself, Are my tests at fault here, given how different your system's showing up to a similar spec system on the leaderboard. But wait, what's that score there in my history of 49819? Well, that is the same workstation running the same test on the same day under the same exact conditions with literally no graphics card whatsoever in the workstation. Yeah, that's an iGPU run, that's CPU graphics. So literally removing the AMD graphics card from the workstation completely and having no graphics card in at all took the score from borderline 40K to near 50K. With the next run close to 51K being done with an RTX 4000 Quadro. But as I alluded to back at the start, the concerning part about all of this isn't how all of this is constrained purely to graphics performance, which it isn't. And you'd expect it to be given that that's, that the graphics card's the only variable here between the tests. Between the AMD and the iGPU runs, look at the productivity smashing drop to opening files score when using the AMD GPU and assembly everything, drawing creation, these scores equate directly to time for a process to compute in Autodesk Inventor. So take opening files, for example, that's the time it takes to open all the data sets used across the full Infmark suite from single parts to massive 1000 part assemblies. 1260 to 2010, that's a 60% increase from test to test. All right, so say you look at the poke holes in what I'm showing you here in my theory. It's not a theory, but say you are. Okay, one could say, Neil, clearly this is an issue with the Fujitsu PC or something on it, right? It's, it's a U problem it's isolated to you it has to be i'm going to ignore the fact that you created this entire benchmarking program and all the background experience that clearly goes along with definitely do that and i'm going to assume neil you've just made a mistake obviously not allow me to retort unfortunately there is a clear and obvious and blatant pattern across the entire Invmark leaderboard. You can do a search for literally any AMD GPU, and you'll find it in a system posting a score outrageously lower than where it should be at. And for those who don't know at this point, Inventor is pretty much entirely 
that's pretty much it is entirely CPU bound. So systems placement on my leaderboard is it's entirely dictated by the installed CPU or the platform. And there's not many of them and we'll see a variety of results here, but let's search for the 6800 XT, which is AMD's mid to high end gaming GPU on the current platform. Scott here posted a score of 45K with the 6800 XT. He then later upgraded that graphics card, the RTX 3080, and his scores boosted in all the same places as mine did. Now let's look at the 6900 XT. And I've got one of the worst examples that I've found. Pio GMAT had a 1200 pound 6900 XT of the current CPU king of inventor, the 12900K or the KF. 6000 megahertz DDR5 as well to create what in theory should be an outstanding workstation and he scored 47K. Do you know what the 12900K and the KF should be scoring on Infomark? High 60s to low 70,000s. Again, massively pegged back in this case in all the same areas. Only this time opening files, 1,114 to 2,903. That's 160% worth of performance he's missing out on and 120% in overall assembly performance. But of course, those are the gaming cards. What about the pro cards? Okay, here's a Radeon Pro W5500 paired with an i7-12700KF scoring 51872. Mate's an i7, maybe seems about right, yeah? No, the 12700K and KF should easily be in the low to mid 60,000 range. Previous generation, 11th gen, 11700K beating that at 54K. Again, throttled in all the same places. So I think by now you probably get the point. The leaderboard is absolutely overrun with this and the evidence is overwhelming. But of course, the big question is, what's causing this? Well, if this video is going live, the time that it is, which it, it is because you're watching me, then I actually don't know. I don't know for sure because AMD didn't or they won't tell me. I was the one who found the issue all the way back in June last year in 2021. I reported it with haste, spent a not so insignificant amount of my time diagnosing and troubleshooting the issue before I did report it, swapped out all the cards with different cards, doing all the testing, rebuilding windows, trying different drivers, trying no drivers at all, putting all these cards into different workstations, test after test after test, feeding it all back to AMD. We're now in March of the following year and the issue's still there. Multiple drivers later and the issue is now present on a new GPU that I've just received. And it'll be super crystal clear, AMD have said that they've got a fix identified and ready to go. That's literally all they've said to me. But to put this into context, this issue appears to affect all their GPUs on their current architecture, previous RDNA architecture, all the GPUs to fall back as Polaris. Both gaming and pro cards, it affects Inventor 2022 and crucially persists in the next version of Inventor as well. It's not even out yet. It's, that's some fix that needs to happen, but I have to take them at the word. And the reason I'm releasing this video is because you kind of need to know about this. If you're one of the people using one of those AMD GPUs, then A, be aware that currently you're very likely being dramatically held back. And B, if or when this fix does arrive, at least you know now what to look out for and compare against after applying it. Now, if you are still a bit curious, from my testing, the issue appears to be possibly related to the GPU copy engine activity. So whilst the AMD cards are installed, that activity spikes to around 100% during the tasks, which are ultimately slowed down. Whereas without an AMD card installed, that copy engine shows a modest amount of activity. But the technicalities around what's happening during that time remains a complete mystery. I'm getting no information from AMD at all about what's happening. And as for whether this issue affects any other Autodesk software or non-Autodesk software, don't know. The risk of sounding like a bit of a dick, kind of not my remit there. I've done a few quick tests using Revit RFO and didn't notice anything dodge, but beyond that, there isn't many other CAD benchmarking tools to actually run meaningful tests on. And having not seen much at all, if anything happened in the nine months since I reported, I'm not gonna lie, I don't feel all that motivated to go out and do much more, if I'm honest. But now you know what you know. Let's full circle back to the question that dropped on the table at the start of the video. What's the point of graphics card certification, mate? How the hell did all of this happen? How did these cards pass certification with all of these issues? These two cards, in fact, the majority of the cards that I've shown you in this video are on the Inventor Certified list. But don't worry, it's not a rhetorical question. I know how. The ISV certification test, believe it or not, doesn't measure or test performance. It's basically just a visual accuracy test. So the test probably did take a bit longer for whoever ran it, but whoever did run it just didn't notice that or didn't care to notice still. The fact that these two cards, along with all the others showing the problem, passed a certification test with these kind of crippling issues raises some pretty pressing questions about the validity of the entire concept of hardware certification. Maybe they should start using Invermark as part of it. So mate, if you've got one of these cards and you've noticed you're on the slow down, mate, market's still pretty forked. So the way forward isn't, I guess it's entirely up to you. You can either hold out for the fix that maybe it's coming, I don't know, and I hope it does. 
fix this or switch it out and go with something on the leaderboard that you can see works fine if you can't actually get something else. All I can tell you is that the next version of Inventor won't change it. So test your workstation on Invmark again, see where you're at and then make the call. And after that, schedule a call to the like button, mate. Give it a press and then get subscribed if you're not already because why would you not want to miss out on the next video like this that I do? And if you're about to buy or renew an order subscription, click my store link in the description or visit my website to activate my referral, which costs you now, but it massively supports my channel the next time you buy or renew an Autodesk subscription. Thanks again. That's all I've got. My name's Neil Cross. This is Tech3D. Peace.